In this video, we will look at the Wise Portable SSD 1TB option for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I will go over the setup, mount and some test 4K raw footage. The Portable SSD 4K by Wise and it's also certified for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K as you can see in the Blackmagic manuals uh, supported for recording media featuring a cage-free modding solution. It also has a high performance uh, writing and reading speeds uh, for recording 4K DCI lossless RAW for up to 30 frames per second. The SSD is very compact and approved by Blackmagic Design. Comes with various storage capacity 256, 512 and 1 terabyte models. Uh, in the box uh, is the Wise 1 terabyte portable SSD. As you can see it uh, weighs very less. It's just like less than uh, 30 grams. And uh, there's also a USB uh, Type-C to Type-C cable. Uh, which is uh, pretty long but I think uh, it also comes with a velcro strap that you can you can attach to for uh, compact use without the cage and uh, a hot shoe mount for a holder uh, for the uh, SSD it also comes with the uh, scrollable uh, clamp that you can actually attach to the uh, camera uh, with the uh, supporting documentation With an industry leading rate speed of 550 megabytes per second and a write speed of 520 megabits per second, uh, you are able to transfer large RAW files in a flash and built for a video shooting uh, with both extremely smooth data streaming and fast recording speeds for 4K RAW. I really like the way it mounts to the uh, Blackmagic camera. Uh, even though the CFast and SD cards are also good options, but if you are shooting in 4K, SSD is the best option as I can record long videos and go straight to DaVinci Resolve for my editing workflow. I'm making it the best option out there in the market right now. The uh, the form factor and, and the mountable options are, are a great fit for uh, the Blackmagic camera for people who are looking for uh, non-cage options. So the mounting was pretty easy. Uh, I was able to get the uh, cold shoe uh, mount into the camera. Uh, it has two screws to adjust to the camera and also to the other uh, clamp holder. I uh, was able to uh, get it uh, fixed pretty quick and uh, you can see the uh, the holder actually uh, goes on top uh, and then you can actually uh, 
tighten that up uh, you can easily slide them through the top and uh, fix it in position and then maybe you can uh, try adjusting the top screw uh, to get it in place uh, that was a easy uh, setup i was able to just take the uh, hard drive and uh, just place it on top i know the uh, the arrow indicates the side of connection to the USB-C tech cable so I switched it around and uh, placed it on the top it was a quick snap fixed very well in position the USB cable uh, is, is actually long as I said uh, but once you fix it on one end and the other end actually goes into the, uh, the USB output of the camera uh, which is on the side uh, of the camera as you can see uh, it fits pretty well so it was the uh, USB port um, trying to get into it that connects well I think it's a pretty good option I uh, managed to get them together and actually used the uh, the velcro uh, strap now it's not a great option but it works out well if, if you're uh, looking for a, a a good fit to hold the uh, ssd there you go that's the uh, setup of the uh, wise uh, SSD option. Fits very well with the uh, Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. It doesn't hinder with the uh, the shooting, and it fits tight uh, to the camera, and uh, it's easy to use as well. I took some test shots. So the SSD shows up in the uh, card slot. Uh, try to format it up here to use under uh, the XFAT uh, formatting. Uh, took a little bit while, but uh, just a pretty quick uh, formatting uh, given that it's a one terabyte uh, SSD. Exited out of the menu. Uh, the first option that I tried was uh, straightforward. Uh, without any high frame rates uh, went with uh, 4k raw lossless uh, 24 frames per second uh, recorded pretty well uh, it's a raw 3.1 uh, ratio recorded without any uh, problems The second option uh, was uh, just bump up the frames per second, uh, still keeping the 3.1 but uh, keeping it to uh, 30 frames per second. I tried going into the lossless option, uh, which is probably the highest you can get. It's the 4K raw lossless 30 frames per second. Recorded pretty smooth, there was no issues here as well. As you can see, I was just trying to uh, get different data frame rates but recorded pretty well now there were people reporting that 60 frames didn't work but I wanted to try so I bumped up the high frame rate uh, to 60 frames per second lossless um, yep got the uh, drop frames right at 6 seconds uh, it does not record a 60 frames per second lossless raw uh, 3.1 uh, I tried uh, with the uh, 30 frames per second uh, that worked out uh, pretty well but I think the 60 frames is, is when it tries to drop frames. I tried the Ultra HD uh, 
lossless with the same uh, settings for the frames per second actually bumped up the uh, frame rate to 60 frames per second uh, lossless ultra hd for a few seconds as you can see it had dropped frames uh, right at four seconds uh, the 3.1 actually worked out very well for uh, 30, 30 and 60 frames per second records well uh, with the lossless uh, seems to be an issue with the uh, voice i'm hoping uh, blackmagic would uh, release an update for their codec which could uh, enable this ssd to record uh, 60 frames per second